Hey you guys, this is Beth from Dainty Daisy's Merchandise. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I'm a part-time reseller and a stay-at-home mom to three babies. In today's video, we're going to be doing our Goodwill Blue Box unboxing. This one is from Tennessee. I've been getting Tennessee boxes for like a month straight now. They haven't been bad though, so I can't complain. I also want to let you guys know that I am running a free shipping um, deal for orders $28 and over. So that's going to last all the way to the end of July. I also wanted to let you guys know that I will be on vacation all next week. So if you put an order in, uh, just know that I won't be shipping it out until that following Saturday. Um, we go on our family beach trip and it's the last week before my baby starts kindergarten. So I'm really going to enjoy this time spent with my family. Let's go ahead and do our first look. This is going to have a lot of costume jewelry. Let's go ahead and dive into this. If you're new to this channel, I would love if you could hit that subscribe button. Okay, let's look at this one first. It's about to come apart right there. If you can see it, maybe I can push it back together. Yeah, just push it right back together. Let me get my magnet. All right, it's magnetic. Beautiful carving and beautiful work on the back. Some flowers and a bird, it looks like. I don't think I see any markings. Got a little bit of wear on the metal. Let's see if we can open it. Oh, that's interesting. It smells very strong. So maybe it's like a lotion, like a perfume type lotion. Very strong smell. Very interesting. I've never seen one with that in there before. Well, this is cool. I'm going to do some research on this one. Next is this plastic bead necklace. I'm going to put this one in a lot. Another plastic beaded necklace. No markings. If you're interested in a lot piece, I usually sell them for $2 and under, so be sure to inquire if you're interested in a lot piece. Maybe there's a mark on there. Let's see. Nope, no markings. Pretty though. Pretty long earring. Interesting design. We got a sea turtle. Got a little tangle in here. I think, unless this is one necklace. Okay, there we go. All right, so we have the tea, sea turtle. All right, it says Leah on the back, but I don't see any other markings. I wonder if that's like Leah Sophia. Pretty little flower in there too. In the chain, silver tone chain. There's a little tiny jewel in there. Can test it. Showing nothing. Put that to the side. Another earring. Earrings, lots of earrings already. That's pretty standard for Tennessee, in my opinion. I usually get a lot of earrings from Tennessee. Okay, this says, this is from like Excedra. But this one is in there too. I don't know if this all connects together. I'm gonna put them both in a lot. 
Also, I'm still running those really nice summer sales. This is gonna be the lowest price of the year for my jewelry, so be sure to check out those deals on my Poshmark and my Etsy. Very large statement necklace. I'm gonna put this one in a lot too. Little rainbow earring. Hope we find a match to that one. Okay. I like this one. Looks like we got some shell in here and some beads. Lots of beads. That's pretty though. I really like that one. I'll do this one for five. Sure, I'm gonna put that on the side. <laughs> Gotta make my different piles. All right, next is gonna be this like fake geode necklace. I like the colors on it the gold and then the black and the gray. I'll do this one for five. Very bendable bangle. Ooh, this is, feels not great, like sticky almost. Put that one in a lot. What's this? This is pretty. Okay, I like the colors on there. The chain looks pretty good too. I'm sure it's, yeah. It's a nice design and the chain looks to be in good shape. I'll do this one for five. Okay, another earring. Let's look at this one too. Little pearls in there. This looks to be a pretty bent earring. No markings either. All right, this is gonna be like a knotted leather and chain necklace. It's gonna be a longer necklace and I like the knots and I'll do this one for five. All right, we have like a leather, the 925 clasp. So maybe we'll find a charm that goes with that. Okay, I'm gonna put this one in a lot. We got lots of chains in the last couple of Goodwill blue boxes. Lots of chain necklaces. Okay, we are magnetic. I'm gonna put that one in the lot pile. I'm also going to be posting my office tour this coming week. I had to take this Wednesday off because packing for five people and getting my house ready is a lot, but I will be posting next Wednesday a little office tour for you guys. I'm excited for you guys to see that. I love this bangle. It's like wired. You know, it's like wire wrapped. I like it a lot. I'll do this one for three. It's got a little bit of wear, I think, on the, on the metal, on the edges. I got some pearls, fake pearls. I like this though, it's a nice long strand. I have to give this to my niece or my daughter. All right, looks like maybe we have a wrap chain here. Sun, like S U N, but I'm thinking this is just a like a little wrap chain bracelet. I'm gonna put it in a lot. The metal looks fairly worn and coming off on certain places. Okay, 
Okay, this has got a chain on here. It's missing one of the stones too. I don't know if that chain is supposed to be on there or not. Glass. I'm gonna put that in a lot. Looks like Psalm 46.1, Keep Collective. Okay, I don't see any other markings. I'll do this one for three. Another pearl necklace, another fake pearl. I'll do this one for three. Earring. How fitting. We have three little daisies. I might have to keep this one for my little three baby daisies. How about that? <laughs> for my three babies. All right, let's see what the brand is. Claire's. I might have to keep this one. They have some really cute jewelry. Gotta love Claire's. This was in really good condition, too, so I think I'm gonna keep this one. Keep this one for myself. How cute is that? Perfect. All right, looks like we have some like cascading beads here. Reading in glass. I'll do this one for four. The glasses looks a little bit worn, but other than that, the beads look great. Lovely. Tiger's eye beaded earring. Magnetic, I'm gonna put it in a lot. Sometimes I keep those chains, especially if they're precious metal, 925. Or gold, of course. Nice, a long layered necklace. The tassel down here as well. It's got two layers. I'll do this one for three. You're going to find your best prices for this jewelry on my YouTube channel. You can always check out my shops as well, but these are where you're going to get the best prices. All right, looks like probably some glass, pretty glass. Yep, looking like some glass. I like that. Oh, this is fun. I had to give this one to my girl to take to the beach with her with these flowers. Look a little worn out, the flowers do, but my daughter doesn't mind. <laughs> and then the dyed shells and the other shells in there. Yeah, I like that one for her. Here we have the elephant. Animals, especially elephants, always sell really good for me. It's jeweled too, and the, the necklace chain looks good. The metal on here looks good. I love the red statement color. Glass in there. I'll do this one for five. Fake pearls. be glass. That's another nice one. Nice costume pieces today so far. It looks like a ring. I don't know if it's like a ring that you wear. Another earring. All right, we've got a very magnetic bracelet. Goodworksmakeadifference.com. Okay, like leather. It's got some wear on it though. I'm gonna put it in a lot. Little gold tone earring. It's actually not that little, fairly big hoop earring. Oh, 
I didn't see that it's fun. That's fun. I love necklaces and jewelry that have like a little spinning feature or little details like that are really cool. And we got a big tangle. Okay, so I have given it my best shot. <laughs> this is taking so long. So I'm going to try and do this some more at a later time, but we'll look at each one at least and see what we've got. So this says BDP. This is kind of worn though a little bit. This might go to my, to my son. And then we've got another necklace. This is just a separate necklace, two separate necklaces. So yeah, it's got this beautiful abalone covered uh, shark's tooth look, and it's so pretty. Very beautiful. I love the chain if I can get it unattached here. It looks like it might be layered too, so I'll I'll do some, some work on it. It was taking me entirely too long. <laughs> okay, next is the spinning one. I did get this one out. And I do like this one a lot. I don't think there was any brand on it. Nope. And a little bit of wear on the metal, on the metal chain at the end. So I'll do this one for three. Let's do some more chains. <laughs> All right, what is this one? Oh, I don't think I've ever seen that one before. The KK. Another tooth. We're getting a lot of tooths. It's kind of giving me Florida vibes. Usually I get a lot of teeth in Florida. Ooh, this one's pretty sharp too. So this one will not go to my son. But the chain, I don't know if it's supposed to be like this or if it's a little bit worn. Definitely the class is worn. So I'll do this one for five. Oh, I love this. This wrap necklace, like choker. Very cold to the touch. Looks like some glass. I like it though. That's a really cool. It's got the big pearl down here. It looks like maybe there's a little bit of wear on some, certain parts of that pearl. But I'm sure you could just turn it around. I like that one. I'll do this one for 10. All right, another chain necklace. I'm gonna put this one a lot. It's pretty dirty and it's got some mystery hairs in there. Let's take a look at this one too. This might be another one I'm gonna to give to my niece or my daughter. We go to the beach with my husband's side of the family. So it's like a big family reunion every year and it's so much fun. And one of the cousins, one of the girls that I give my jewelry to um, my niece, I will be seeing her, so I'll be giving her a nice jewelry jar. All right, I like the rose. I'll do this one for five. Ooh, look at this owl. All chain looks a little worn. Got a heart down at the bottom. The chain is just a little bit worn up by the neck part. I'll do this one for four. I'm gonna put this one in a lot. More mystery hairs. Earrings. All right, we got a silver toned. Okay, it's marked Korea. Okay, I could probably test this. It's not magnetic. 
So if you're interested in it, I'll do it for five. It's kind of a shorter chain. What does that say? Hmm, what does that say? I can't quite read what it says. Maybe B R S with like an eight maybe at the end. Feels really cool. It's very like soft feeling. Very interesting. I love the flower. Very pretty. I'll look this up and give you guys a price. Statement necklace. I like this one. It's got kind of those like opal type looking beads. Glass. Glass. I really like this one with the opals. The fake opals, but really pretty. Look how shiny and pretty that is. Looks like all the stones are there too. I like the little ones. Really, really nice. I'll do this one for eight. Oh, look at this one. <laughs> Maybe it'll bring me lots of money in this box. Wow. Talk about a statement ring. It actually looks to be in pretty good shape too. So if you're interested in it, you can have it for $5. It's definitely a very large ring. Very, very large. Let's look at this one. Wood. I haven't seen just this big old chunk of wood before like this. looks vintage very interesting I don't know if that used to be like a like a cloth of some sort over that I'm gonna put it in a lot oh look at the beautiful flower glass blown flower pendant so pretty I'll do this one for maybe I could put this one on here put that little pendant on there I'm gonna do it right now so if you're interested in this one it's got the 925 clasp with the leather and pretty little pendant. I'll do this one for eight. Oh, look at this pretty little necklace. Made in the USA. Susan Shaw. I've gotten Susan Shaw before, and I'm pretty sure her jewelry is um, 24 karat plated. So this is really cool. Loving the horse design. All right, yeah, it has her SS initials on there. Very beautiful. Yeah, I'll look this one up. I want to say her jewelry is usually a little bit, not too high end, but it's it's a little bit more expensive. So I'll look this up and give you guys a price, but ooh, that is beautiful. Beautiful. In really good condition too. I don't see any wear on it. So cool. I really want to get the machine that tells you what, um, if your jewelry is plated or gold filled, it's on my wish list. Okay. Another statement necklace. I'm going to put this one in a lot. Another gold chain necklace and it's magnetic. I'll do this one for three. The metal still looks pretty good on there. Okay, earrings, earrings. It's a nice ring. Almost looks like stainless steel. Looks like it's in Spanish. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, it's all in Spanish and it spins. If you're interested in this one, I'll do it for five. Earring. Really long chain necklace. I'm going to put that one in a lot. A lot of discoloration on that one. My earrings. These look pretty beat up too. Oh, I like this one too. 
The chain doesn't look too great on the other side, but oh, I love this. Love that design. If you're interested, I'll do it for three. Another flat gold earring. I like that leaf brooch. I'll do this one for five. I'm just gonna try and dump the rest of this out. Make it too much of a mess. Oh, look how shiny that is. Let's test it. Looks like some glass. Really shiny and pretty though. Festive little earring. Looks like I probably won't find the match. I don't see any other ones in here. Okay, some more of those really cute bracelets. I'm probably gonna give these to, like I said, my daughter and my niece. Give them some matching bracelets. They're very girly. They like to dress up. They like to um, put on all the jewelry and all their little dress up clothes. I got one of these fairly recently. I think I have it listed too. There's another one. Oh, I like this bracelet. How pretty is that? Bringing up on glass. That is so pretty. Look really pretty with my jewelry. I'll do this one for five. I wonder if this is stainless steel. It's kind of giving me that shiny look on there. Maybe there's some writing in there. Nope, just a little rust spot. Okay, I'll do this one for two. Another very shiny earring. Glass. Oops, hit metal, don't get excited, guys. All right, glass again. Oh my goodness, what is this? 2016 Southern League Champions Sports Plus Rehab Center and number four, Tyler O'Neill. Well, the plating on there looks to be worn off. This is so massively huge. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. I have to see if this is worth anything. But wow, that's Tessie's sparklers on here. Oops. Looks like a shown glass. And some more glass. Wow. Very sparkly though. Earring. You gotta check these little rings. I remember I got one similar similar to this at Pandora. So always be sure to look over your rings. Looks like this one kind of matched that other one. And wasn't there another bent up earring in here? Might have a match. Oh yep. Very interesting. Maybe it goes, maybe it's like a hoop. I don't even, I do not know. Hmm. Got two of them though. Another bangle. Another cuff. I'll do that one for two. Oh, I love the butterfly. Oh, it's got some little bits of blue and red down here too. I'll do that one for eight. Looks like there's a 
bracelet that matches the necklace. I'll do these, the set for 12. Earring. Okay, Russ. Always got to look these up. Sometimes they're worth a little bit more than you'd think. Jeweled costume earring. Another cool little bubble ring. American flag. Earring that's turning a little bit green. Let's test these little stones. No reading on there. Pretty flower brooch. I'll do this one for five. I'm gonna put this one in a lot. Another big earring in the lock with no key. American flag earring. This is cool. I don't know what this is. Looks like it was like folded, folded down though. Very cool. Don't know. Never seen this before. You guys tell me what you think it is. Oops. Yeah, some. I'll do this one for five. Little J brooch. Right, this is nice. It's a nice gold color there. All right, looks like a star and the moon. Chain looks nice. If I can lay it out. <laughs> Okay, so the moon and the star there. It says 925. Very nice. So shiny. Let's test these little ones. Reading up on glass. I'll do this one for 12. Love that. Lovely layered necklace. It's a nice earring. With no match. We have another tangle, but I don't limited what's this other one looks like some costume maybe a tennessee necklace again i'm gonna put both of those in a lot cross earring lots of earrings today oh this is nice I don't see any markings. Let's test the little stones in there. Oops, just hit metal. Ah! I think it's just going to read glass. This says 925 on the back, but I haven't found any matches for it yet. Nurse. Pretty sure this is plastic. Oh, it is reading up on glass a little bit. Little turtle again. I've been getting a lot of beachy type things from Tennessee of late. 
a little building, a skyscraper. See what it says? Can't quite read what it says. It looks like just some numbers on there, maybe. No markings. And it's magnetic. Oh, look at this little teapot. Pretty little teapot charm. Oh, it's Avon. So I'll have to see if that's like a vintage one. Put that on a little gold chain. How adorable is that? Very adorable. A little lounge chair. I'm about to be sitting in a lounge chair. And I cannot wait to show you guys some of the adventures that we do as a family. Glass as well. Get down to the bottom here. We are almost through. Ooh. Glass again. Sure is shiny. Big earring. Oh, I love the watermelon one. All right, looks like we only have a couple left. Ooh, look at these cameo earrings. Ooh, I like those. That set. I'll do those for eight. All right, well, we made it to the bottom of the box. Thank you all so much for sticking with me and I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. We got some really cool pieces, some 925 layered chains and I'm still loving this one if I can get it untangled. This one specifically loving that one. And then the Susan Shaw. I cannot wait to look that one up. So thank you all again for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I would love if you could give me a thumbs up and please be sure to watch my Wednesday videos and uh, until next time.